Sorted mate, sorted mate. This is fishing rod. Kid. What the freaking hell is that? What a chuff, you know. in camera friggin hell I used to make videos Which way shall we go? Left or right? Go left, I think. A quick look. I don't like walking downstream when you're fishing. When you're wading especially. Fish are pointing upstream, trout looking upstream. So, come from behind. I don't get caught out, I don't see you before we get to them. Come on. Let's do it this way. I've got waders on, but it's good to be a kid again sometimes. Ooh. Get out of my face. Trout season in Yorkshire has been been open for about ten days, something like that, and I've not been out. So I managed to find myself a little couple of hours. I shall see what I can catch. I've got a wire trace at the moment because I've done a little bit of perch fishing recently, but why if you can see the wire trace gets in the way of your casting a little bit. So I'll probably change it for a fluorocarbon trace which you can wind up your up your rings oh I you can go up your ring with it makes it easier for casting in these little tight spots like that <laughs> oh shit Nick classy as ever Paul classy as ever all right so stealth approaches out of window Fantastic, fantastic ball. A little bit rusty. Yeah, I need to get rid of that trace. That's my first problem. My phone's ringing. Right, so my phone went. That went mum, so took the time to switch it out for a full carbon trace there's no pike in this little tiny river and that you can put a small knot there it's really difficult to see but you put a small knot there from fluorocarbon to braid and it means you can wind your line right up your rod so you can make it a little bit easier to cast like this it helps when you're fishing little rivers like this if you've got a small rod anything 
in tight spaces it's easy to cast as well but my rod's a little bit long just watching for any followers still quite cold weird snow this week so it's still quite cold out so you'll find ch trout will still chase but they might be hiding in deeper water which is oh not massively warmer but just what we do it's quite deep here actually hey to my gonads oh that was a fish napal first little bit there's one following it there we go oh a little one little one little trout and a perch i've never seen a perch in here before trout and a perch chased it then perch were about four inch long there we go little perch go away you're on it in season kid not on rivers mate not on rivers holy smokes how deep is it it's all the way to the bottom can you believe it so we've seen two fish one trout one perch we've had a pluck from a trout holy shamoly I wonder if it's deep last time that's tree doing well with trees today mate doing well with trees hey hey that's a little trout that's a little trout and it's off Yeah, we should get on. That would have been my first trout of the season. Oh, <laughs> an even better one. Well, crazy, crazy truth. Come on, little kid. You're not bad. You're not bad at all, mate. It's a foot long, huh? It's a foot long. That'll do for the first fish of the season. Little gurgle. Cheers, kid. Cheers, kid. A little repiler. Beauty. That'll do, donkey. Cheers, matey. Get on. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. What have I done? 50 yard. Little trout river. It's not complicated in trout fishing. Anybody who's struggling, you can take some tips from the pros, or you can cast them to snag like me. Location is key, there's fish there. Yeah, like I said, a bit of snow melting. Water's nice and cold. Still chasing two fish just in this little bit of, bit of water here. The phone's ringing again. It's nice, but if I wade through here, I'm going to disturb it, so let's do a little, little cast. Just see if there's anything here close by. I'm going to wade through. Clamber over a big snag that I cast into. And then, I see, I mean, you can't really cast massively far in these sort of swims, but you don't want to cast all the way up there, because what if you catch a fish right up there and come all the way through, swim and scare every other fish off? So, try and take it steady, small casts. Work your way through, swim. And try, if you can, if it's possible, oh, not a bad cast. If it's possible, bring the, don't, try not to bring the load directly to you, try and bring it across you. Then if, if the wound does chase, you can then, you know, do something to try and get it to it. You can sometimes pick up an extra fish doing that. If you come straight to it, the fish is going to see you. And then turn off and then it won't take then. If you can just do little, little things like that just to help yourself.
and not cast it into trees is another thing that can do to not to help yourself. Like a little dam up here, if it's man-made or just naturally occurred through floods. That could be a little something for fish to sit behind. Try or time between going canal perch fishing or even taking big lures out and having a go for for pike. Just the canals just bore me a little bit sometimes and I know when I come in and I catch some fish, get a little bit of enjoyment. There's no there's no record breakers in here, they're just simply a few trout, little stunners. Good bit of adventure. There's not loads of fish because it's not a massive river but as probably most of you have noticed, I don't make videos these days too much. I haven't made one for a long time. I don't go fishing that much. So when I do go fishing, I want to catch a fish. And I have been fishing, but I've just not been making videos. A lot of people, especially on Facebook, have been asking me what's happening. I've been, been fishing, but when I've gone fishing, because my time's been limited, I've not really fancied making videos. So, a few people have been asking, so I thought, well, let's see if I can make one. Again, we've got a, a bit of a barrier up ahead, fallen tree, so anything can be sat here just behind it. Oh, probably up that end anyway. That's what I expect. Take your time. Try not to be in a rush to get to the juicy swim because you will find them sat. There's a little bit of undercut bank here. I'll just sit just underneath that, watching for anything coming past. Take your time. In quite deep here. Going that deep. Some nice soft mud just to let me panic a little bit. Be difficult with these little light rods and light braid and stuff because it's so easy to cast these small loads, they're only a few grams, but they cast like mad. You're having to hold them back as you went into every snag, every tree. I'm just gonna catch this out of the branch. a lot of people fishing soft lows, it's not something I do, it, even in the cold, colder weather, start of season, I still fish cranks, they're gonna, like that, I'm gonna check it, <laughs> oh it's off again, I usually fish cranks with hooks on as well, it helps, no, sticky sharp, it's just, oh, sticky sharp my hooks, get off, just, it's just fishing, you lose some trout, it's nice to catch a few when I like, but, and it will if one gets off. Well, unless it's an absolutely huge fish, which I've done a couple of times last year. Like these little repels are nice, some shadow wraps. I've seen me using before. Little shadow wrap. With a nice depth on these little rivers. Nice flash. I use all sorts. I've got plenty in my little little shop. Hodgkins and things. Little jointed cranks. Spinners are boring. Again, that fish sat here where it's going out deep. deeper water I can't see it be a massive difference but you can just tuck to the bottom where it's a little bit warmer water passes over the red and they're not getting getting chills I've just seen a fish in front of me I've seen me some really small fish I'm guessing small trout but 
That's a big fish below me. What the hell is that? Oh, they've seen me. What was that? Oh, hey, are they trout? They should bought something. Quite a wide fish. Not chasing, but probably seen me. happening in the world of river pike uh, well obviously some of you know that what's been happening in the world of river pike is I've got a little lad called Charlie little Charlie is now over 15 months old believe it or not 15 months crazy and uh, little Charlie's walking He's quite a little smart kid, but he's not he's not talking. You can say a few little babbling words. He's not talking properly, but you know, he knows what you're talking about. We know what he's sort of saying. Loves wildlife. Loves spotting birds while other, other kids are running around playing. He's looking up in the sky watching birds. It's, it's ace. I'll spot them before you do. It's really good. So can't wait to get him out this year when he's a little bit more a little bit more stable on his feet. And he also didn't just run into the river, because a minute he just runs. But yeah, he's doing well as a kid. Yeah, that takes up all my time, obviously working. And when you come home, you want to you wanna spend some time with your little kid. Can't miss those years. I have two, two older kids, some of you might not know. I have two older kids, both grown up with jobs. And those kid days for them are gone, so if you've missed it, if you're out fishing, if you're out messing about, you miss those days. So as much as YouTube's good, and I enjoyed making videos, as much as fishing's good, I'm making a point to spend some time with a little lad. And I've got to make some time to, to spend it with me and the other two. Well, like I said, I'm they're both adults, but they're out on beer and stuff like that. Little things, me and my daughter Emily took Charlie to the park yesterday. Had a walk around, it was snowing, hailstoning, and we were playing on swings and things like that, and that's what you do. So, anybody who's got a YouTube channel, who's got a fishing obsession like I've had, remember to leave it behind when you've got a little kid because you can always pick up fishing on YouTube another day. When Emily and Jack were little, I didn't really fish much. I probably fish more now while I've had Charlie than I did with them. I'm trying to keep it balanced and a bit of each. Like I say, if you've got a little kid yourself, spend time with it. Spend time with your missus and enjoy those moments because you don't get them back. Right, so like a dummy, I've managed to cast into that tree, as you can probably see. Now, what a lot of light low fishermen do you've seen i've not changed my load all day confident that load will work not changed it all day some people tie direct which means you've got no no clip no swivel a little bit more finesse a little bit more but when you get caught in a tree you've then got to wind your low through the tree and you're going to get caught there i can't reach that so now you can unclip your low and nice and steady you can wind your line back through and clip it back on again. It saves you losing the load in a tree. Eight quid low stuck in a tree is not good. You have to retire your line. You're leaving a load behind for a bird or something to get caught in. Just generally not what you want. Just by doing that, you can cast into trees as much as you want and you don't lose your loads. Obviously, when you're wading, you can get underneath it. When you're bank fishing, you can't. So bank fishing, you'll still lose them. But it's for anybody out there who's desperate for a pee like I am. 
Oh my god, that's not good. I'm gonna piss me scent. I'm gonna piss me scent. Hey! Fisker! Out of nowhere. Oh, and it's off. They certainly beat me today, these trout. Oh my god. It's not so much the losing fish today, it's to me, it's a lack of fish. Like I said earlier, you expect to lose a few fish, but last time I fished here, you caught quite a few. There's just not been many about at all. There you go, that's a bit of fish. Where are you? Just bring it downstream. Where's my line gone? There. Another nice fish here. Cheers, kid. Cheers, kid. Don't go up there and scare them. You're not there. Two fish in this little pool. That's, that's good. Just when I was struggling to even find fish. No doubt there's a few about, but I just don't like there's as many as last time. <sighs> Why ain't there a fish under there? <laughs> I can't come out and just nail it. You know, it's not easy doing this, you just make so much noise going in and out of water. Up bank. We'll go down here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, at least, at least for comedy effect. If it goes wrong, it's gonna go wrong. <laughs> Holy shizer! That was further down than I thought. Eh, my back's wet. Weird. See, if it had been a fishing god, that deserved a fish. And down that bank there, like that. Like a true hero. Ain't scared of nothing. I'm gonna catch some trout. Nothing's gonna stop me. Ain't a man. Why isn't there a fish here? That's absolutely perfect. That's it then. Quick video, guys. Just to show you, I'm still alive. <laughs> still fishing. Um, I say I know a few people have been asking about it and asking what's happened with the channel and stuff. Uh, a little child has taken the time up, simple as that, so um YouTube thing would have been good to me, brought me a bit of success. You know, sponsorship, new mates, travels abroad, all that. Um, and it's and as good as that is, um you, you can't you can't replace time with your kid and that's me. I'm, I'm still fishing, still get out with me a little bit, with some session through the winter. Um but I've not really been making, well, not been making videos, so I've not made one. I think last time I made one was probably last year, and it was actually a trout video. So, a uh, bit of fishing today. Yeah, struggle to be honest. Not seen as many fish. Lost a few. I could have had, you know, I could have had seven or eight fish, but I only ended up catching three. Um, a good fun. LMAB rod. It's filthy now. This is a 0.5 to, yeah, 0.5, 0 0.5 to 6 gram two piece. One stick rod. Cheap old day with a reel on it. 
some white bread, I think that's either six or eight pound bread. Um, fluorocarbon, as I said, makes it a lot easier for casting in around tight spots. You can wind your line right up the ring and uh, makes it a lot easier. Went for a Rapala Shadow Wrap just because it's um, nice, low, runs shallow in shallow water, but you can also let it sink in slightly deeper water. So I'm not swapping and changing loads because when you've got all you know, you're clamoring about with trees, last thing you're swapping and changing loads. You don't really need to change loads. If the bear will have it, I think you know pretty much every fish has nailed it. There were a few fish in front of one, bu one bush. I don't think they were trout, otherwise I think they were chill. They seemed wider. They seemed took really low down a little wider, wider fish. So um, yeah, good fish. So <laughs> nice to see you all. Can't see you, but you know what I mean. Uh, hope you're having a few fish, enjoying it. Check out riverpiker.com because I've got a new shop, new website, a few bits and bobs on it. Uh, and I'll try and make some videos when I can, but I'm not going to force it. Forcing it sometimes, it's not enjoyable. Not for me anyway. I like to go fishing, I am a fisherman first. So what I might try and do is maybe get out with a few a few people and make odd little video. I might try and make something a little bit more cinematic and a bit more enjoyable. But fishing's good. YouTube is good, but make sure you stay with your little ones and have some time with them. Now, yeah, tight lines. I'll catch you later. So. It's a good job it's a long walk to the car. This allowed me to remember what I'm going to tell you. Got another low, uh, another northern low bash coming up. Made made an announcement recently on Facebook. Just as I just spur the moment thing. Basically, low day, turn up. People do a few demos. People go fishing. People have a laugh, take Mickey out of each other. Hopefully, catch a few fish. Uh, but if you're struggling, you want to have a look at people's setups. You want to show us your own setup. Yeah. Uh, it's 24th of April, Sunday. It's about 8 o'clock at morning from all day. But yeah, come, join in, bring in the rods, bring nothing, come and have a look at my rods and set my set up. Try and do a few demos, low fishing, bike lows, bike lows, whatever. So yeah, 24th of April in Leeds, Thwaite Mills, T H W A I T E Mills in Leeds. Put address on, on screen. Uh, yeah, so I'll see you there.